Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's video tutorial we will be creating a super cool bubbles animation here in After Effects without using any third party plugins. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video clips. And without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create first new composition, hit Ctrl plus N or hit on this uh, little icon, I will call this one to final, width and height 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, like usual, and for duration, set up your own, I will do maybe to around 10 or 15 seconds, and then hit OK. Now let's create background here in the final composition, go right click to create a new solid layer, let's rename this one to background, hit OK. And then let's go here in the facts and preset and add ramp effect. If you can't find the facts and preset, just go window and you will find the facts and presets here. Now type ramp effect, then just drag and drop here on the solid layer in our final composition. For the start of the ramp, go upper left corner. For the end of the ramp, go lower right corner. And for the first start color, let's type here 001373 for this type of blue color. And for the end color, let's type this hexacode 02002B and then also hit OK. I will close this effects control for now. And now let's create another solid layer, go right click, find here new solid layer. I will call this one bubbles, also 9020 by 1080 and then hit OK. Now let's add our next effect, go here in the facts and preset, find CC bubbles effect, drag and drop onto the solid layer. OK, and here let's make a few adjustments for the bubble amount, let's type here 200 and for the bubble size you can basically play around, I will do somewhere around 10. OK, now let's add our next effect, this is gonna be CC glass effect, also drag and drop onto the bubbles, OK, open up the surface options and here for the softness let's type 30, for the height type 50 and for the displacement let's go somewhere around 40. In every moment later on you can play around with all of those options. Also one important step is to change bump map from bubbles to none and from the property from lightness to luminance. Ok, and for the next effect let's add here bevel alpha, ok, also drag and drop onto the bubbles solid layer and for the edge thickness type here 5.5. OK, something like this and for the light intensity maybe to around 0.75. OK, and as you can see in our finals we have these cool looking bubbles. Now let's also add our third effect, this is gonna be Triton effect, our fourth effect. OK, drag and drop onto the bubbles for the first color and for the shadows let's change to pure white color. OK, and for the midtones let's type here 00B3. B, E, or just find here this type of cyan color. Now hit OK, I will close again this effects control for now, and let's precompose bubble solid layer. Hit here and then go right click to precompose, make sure to move all attributes into the new composition, I will just rename this one also bubbles, and then hit OK. Now it's time to make further adjustments, uh, let's add our next effect, this is gonna be glow effect, drag and drop onto the new composition and here for the glow threshold type here 85, for the glow radius somewhere around 140 and for the glow intensity you can play around, I will do 0.5. Ok, let's add our next effect, this is gonna be CC plastic, ok, drag and drop onto also the new composition and here also open up this surface bump, change here bump layer to none, property leave it to luminance and for the softness let's go to around maybe 200, something like this. And now when we hit zero in our timeline, we're getting this cool animation of our cool bubbles, ok. Next step is to open up this light option here in the CC plastic effect, ok, and for the light intensity instead of 100 type 200, for the light color type here this hexacode 0084FF and then hit ok. Now let's import third effect here on the bubbles composition, go in the facts and preset again, find exposure, ok, drag and drop under this CC plastic effect and let's type here 0.005 for the exposure. 
Okay, as you can see, we have glow, CC plastic and exposure effect. Now let's duplicate this bubbles composition, hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate. Also let's duplicate here bubbles in the project window and this is gonna be bubbles 2. Also select this uh, lower bubbles, hold Alt on your keyboard and just drag and drop this bubbles composition onto this one. Okay, now hit F3 for the second bubbles composition and let's add Triton effect, find here Triton and drag and drop above this exposure effect, okay? And let's change hexa code for this mid tones type here 0015E1 and then hit OK. Also what we can do, hit S for scaling, we will do 150, something like this. And now as you can see we have also this darker blue bubbles and this is looking really really cool. Okay, now open up this Bubbles 2 composition and hit here and then F3 to show effects control and let's lower down bubble speed from 1 to 0.5, something like this. Okay, now let's go to around 3 seconds, grab this uh, bubble solid layer and move all the way to the left side and just from the 7 seconds let's expand all the way to the 10 seconds. Okay, now go here in the final composition, as you can see our animation is looking awesome. Alright, uh, our next step is to create uh, background shapes, go right click to create new solid layer, ok, this is gonna be background shapes, of course you can type your own name, hit ok, move it above this uh, background composition, go here in the facts and preset again, find fractal noise, ok, drag and drop onto the background shapes, and here for the fractal type instead of basic let's find here dynamic okay for the contrast type 300 for the brightness minus 100 complexity lower down to 1 okay something like this and open up this transform option and for the scale type here 333 you can also animate this evolution option here if you want and let's change blending mode here from normal to add and now as you can see we have those background shape and this is looking cool now let's add our next effect, this is gonna be Triton effect, okay, drag and drop onto the background shapes and for the highlights let's type here 5FE7FF, okay, and for the second color let's type here EE5FFF and then hit OK. Now what we can do is to duplicate this background shape, hit Ctrl plus D, hit R for rotation and let's type here 180. And for the midtones, basically, let's change just to maybe this type of red color. Hit OK, and now in our finals, we have cool scene, something like this. And now it's time to make even further adjustments to make this scene even better looking. OK, now let's create star burst effect here in the scene. Go right click to create a new solid layer. This is gonna be star burst, also 1920 by 1080. Hit OK. And first effect that we're going to add here is ramp effect, find ramp, drag and drop onto the star burst, ok, and for the start of the ramp go upper left corner, end of the ramp go lower right corner, something like this, ok, and for the first color start color, let's type this hexa code 00C6FF and then hit ok, also for the second color, let's type here 8A00FF and then hit ok. Now let's find star burst effect, star burst, ok, drag and drop onto the star burst solid layer and here let's also make a few adjustments, for the scatter let's type here 400, something like this, speed 0.2, ok, for grid spacing let's type here instead of 432 and for the size let's type here 333, ok, and now as you can see we have also this cool star burst effect here in our final scene. Also next effect that we're going to use here is Bevel Alpha, ok, drag and drop here also on the Starburst solid layer and here for the edge thickness let's leave it to around 2 and let's change this uh, light color to 00FFFC, this type of cyan blue color and then hit ok. Now it's time to also add a few adjustment layers here in our scene, go right click to create first adjustment layer, ok, this is gonna be light rays, ok, move it above all the other layers here in the finals, let's go here in the fact and preset again, find light rays effect, 
drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And here let's also make a few adjustments, uncheck this option color from source. For this radius option you can play around, I will go somewhere around 200. For the warp softness let's type here 340 maybe. And let's change color from white to FF000040 and then hit OK. And basically now you can recenter this uh, light rays effect on the left or on the right side according to your needs. Hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate this effect and move this one somewhere around here. Okay, it's up to you to play around with those options. I will close this effects control for now. Now go right click to create another adjustment layer. This is gonna be lens flare. Go again here in the facts and preset, find lens flare effect, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And for this first lens flare, let's blend with the original somewhere around 60%, find here third option. And basically you can also play around with the points, something like this. Okay, now let's duplicate this lens flare once, change here to maybe 50-30 millimeter zoom, for the blend with original type here 0, and let's recenter this lens flare 2 to somewhere around here. Also let's duplicate this uh, lens flare 2 and recenter this lens flare 03 to upper right corner. And as you can see in our finals we have cool looking scene of our bubbles. And for the final adjustment layer, let's add curves, go right click to find adjustment layer again. I will rename this one to curves. Okay, go in the facts and preset, find curves effect. Drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And I will do maybe to darken just a bit our scene. And this is looking awesome. One thing that we can also do to hit on this uh, bubbles uh, composition and to play around here with the exposure maybe to go around 0.55 or something like this. Also for the second bubbles option, readjust the exposure, play around with the options until you're satisfied with the final result. Also for the background shapes, hit T for opacity and maybe instead of 100 to go somewhere around 55%. You can also animate evolution, open up this fractal noise uh, effect, hold Alt on your keyboard and just type here time asterisk 50 or 100 according your needs. Okay, and here in our finals now we have cool scene and cool bubbles animation like this. Alright guys, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new like always. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also leave me a comment down below in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. I want to thank you again for watching this video tutorial and until next time, stay creative and bye bye.